Hello, welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to talk about the MOOCs board. MOOCs is a short name for multiplexer, and the multiplexer is this small chip. This chip allows to connect 16 inputs, digital or analog, and you can mix uh, both digital and analog pins and it will handle all of them using software. And to connect this module, we need to have our input modules in a row. And let's align. As you can see, there is the minus and plus, negative and positive and they have to be aligned with the negative and positive on the modules. Okay? You need to certify that they will align and uh, prevent short circuits. What you are going to connect is this row of headers to this. Okay? This to this. Let's just certify that these header pins are well aligned and let's connect them. Okay, let me just tell you that this module is an alpha version. We have the version 1 modules coming and they are slightly different. As you can see, they don't fit perfectly here, but they will. The header pins are just smaller, but consider that these headers will be the, just the same as these ones, okay? Okay. Now, to connect to our microcontroller, I'm using the Tinsy board, the module T32 but you could, could can use any microcontroller of your choice. In this case, I have here an Arduino Leonardo, which works exactly the same. You can use the Arduino IDE to program the Tinsy with the same pin names, exactly the same as you would use an Arduino. Okay, now, first, we need to power the multiplexer board. The multiplexer, in this case, it will be powered using the 3.3 volts and ground. It's just a matter of connecting black for negative, white for positive, okay? here maybe okay and it will go to the multiplexer white for positive black for negative okay looks good well connected now these S0, 1, 2, and 3 are signal pins that will handle the multiplexer addresses. You don't need to worry because everything is done using the multiplexer library. And if you are like me, I, I'm not a low-level programmer, I'm a high-level programmer and I don't know much about, about low-level. I just like to use things wishing they will work as I expect. Now, here we have enable pin and signal pin. Enable will connect to a digital pin on the microcontroller on the Tinsy or Arduino 
and the signal will connect to a digital pin if we are using digital devices, which is the case. If you use analog devices, like potentiometers for instance, you should connect this signal pin to an analog pin on your microcontroller. In this case, we are using both digital. We are using digital. Let's use, for instance, 7 and 8. Okay. Now, let's connect Tinzi. On the Arduino IDE, let's open an example. which is a library to work with a multiplexer. And it's this library. And what we want for this example is read digital signals. OK. If you want to know more about this library, I strongly advise you to visit this GitHub page. And uh, here we are instantiating our multiplexer instance. The first parameter is the enable pin. Let's just confirm where is our enable pin. Is the black cable, this one, not this one, this is power. It's this black cable and it's on 7. And then this is the S0, S1, S2, and S3. OK, the S0 is the green cable. And I can see here that the green cable is 14, then 15, 16, and 17. OK, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then our digital input pin is the number 8 and as you can see in the loop there is this um, variable being instantiated each loop and in this for loop we will go to each one of the multiplexer address starting from 0 to 15 here we are reading the multiplexer with this index. So read zero goes to the data and it will be printed here. But I'm going to change this because, um, yes, I'm going to change this. Let's just print a variable. Let's add a tab. OK. And what this is doing is I will print all the addresses in a row and then change line. Okay. And uh, this is a very big delay. Let's make a shorter delay. And as you can see, we have our 16 addresses. And here we have the button 1, button 2, 3, 4, 6, no, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And these guys are not working. Why not? Oh, OK. These guys are not working just because you remember this header. It's too short. OK. If I just press it with my fingers. I will have contact. And remember, we have a new version of these modules coming in the mail. So just wait for a new video where we will cover this new module. OK. So as you can see, it's very easy to work with a multiplexer. This library is fully detailed and any user can start playing with multiplexers. 
One thing I didn't mention, instead of using the MOOCs board like this, we can use this version with male headers and use jumper wires or flat cable wiring to connect to the multiplexer just certify that the positive and the negative is correctly connected Okay, and then this connection is exactly the same as shown previously. And of course, we can also use ribbon cables. Just certify that the red line is on the negative pin. and the same on this side this. okay there is this uh, white little circle to serve as a guide Okay, and from now on, connections are made to the microcontroller normally using the data pins, the signal pin, and the enable pin. Okay, hope this video was useful. Leave your comments below. See you next time.